Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back to watch another video. I really, really appreciate your support. And if this is your first time here, my name is Agnes and I make videos on cleaning, motivation and lifestyle. So if you enjoy that kind of content, please consider subscribing to this channel and joining our growing YouTube family. I hate all this overthinking, oh. In today's video, I'm going to be cleaning and deodorizing my washing machine. I'm also going to give you a short review of the washing machine. It's a Ramtons washing machine and I'll be cleaning it using two products only. So I have white vinegar, Clover's white vinegar and also Clover's uh, baking soda. I also have with me a scoring pad microfiber cloths and a small basin which I'm going to use to put the mixture which I'm going to use to clean the machine. These two products are enough to clean and deodorize the washing machine. And now let's head on over to where the machine is. I have kept mine here on the balcony. I have covered it to protect it from the harsh conditions, you know, the harsh sun, the dust and rain and all that. So it's advisable to have your machine inside if you have space and you have a place to connect it, that is water inlet and also outlet. Unfortunately for us, this had to be the best place because it's where we could get a water inlet and also outlet. So my washing machine is a Ramtons model number RW145. It's a 6kg front loading fully automatic washing machine. I'll start with this part here which is the detergent tray. It has three compartments. On the left we put detergent and then in the middle we put fabric softener and then on the right we put more detergent for when you want to pre-wash your clothes. So you can also detach this tray from the machine which is what I'm doing here. As you can see the tray is very dirty. We will be cleaning that and I will also be cleaning this part right here where the machine was. As you can see also it's really really dirty. This part that I'm showing you right now, that's where the water flows into the machine. It has some small openings which allow water to flow through into the machine and then go down into the drum. Next we have the machine settings. This machine comes with 24 settings. There's a daily wash of 15 minutes, 30 uh, 30 minutes or 45 minutes and those ones use cold water then there are longer cycles like the one that ends in three hours six hours or nine hours and all those use a temperature of 40 degrees you can do your delicates on cold or you can do it at 30 degrees uh, and then you can pick to do a rinse and spin only a drum a drain only or a spin only cycle this machine also has a drum clean option which is what we are going to use today to clean the drum and then on this other uh, this other side we have the cotton settings we have cotton eco at 40 and at 60 degrees you can also choose to do your cotton uh, or with cold water or you can choose all these other options there's 20 degrees 30 40 60 and 90 and you can also do your synthetic fabrics you can do it on cold or you can do it at 40 or 60 degrees grease and here we have more options we have the pre-wash which is good for clothes that are heavily soiled it's an initial cycle that runs before the actual uh, washing then we have the extra rains and the no spin and at the end we have the start and pause button this machine also comes with a child lock option so when you press these two buttons the extra rings and no spin button a light comes on right there where i'm showing you there is a red, red light so you just press those two buttons for three seconds and the light comes on and then your machine is child locked and then down here we have the drum this is the door to the drum it's partly made of glass the drum itself is made of stainless steel it's very shiny and it has tiny holes all over to allow water to drain out of the machine this part that i'm showing you right here is called the gasket and it's 
it traps a lot of dirt and water after you do your washing as you can see mine is very dirty so we are going to wash that the door is also dirty it's been a while since i washed this machine because i wanted to do this video with you guys i wanted to wash with you so that you can see how dirty it actually gets down here there is normally another compartment which this machine doesn't have and it holds a filter which traps uh, debris like uh, zips and buttons that pop from your clothes or coin that you forgot in your pockets so if it had we would be cleaning that as well but unfortunately this machine doesn't have another thing that this machine doesn't have is a display screen as you can see on this control panel there is no screen so this is an older version of this machine I've seen newer versions where which come with the which come with a display screen so now I'll show you how the machine is connected to water this pipe right here is the one that is connected to clean water it's the water inlet and yeah the, the gray one the small gray one and then this big hose is connected to the outlet so it takes water out of the machine the dirty water then here we have the socket which we had installed by an electrician and we connect uh the power cable to uh yeah to the socket to power the machine so as you know some of our kenyan apartments if not most do not come with a designated laundry area so if you have a washing machine you really have to think of ways to connect it so this is what the plumber decided to do since uh, this area is where we have the uh, drainage pipes and it's also where we have the clean water pipes coming into the house so he connected uh, the water inlet to one of the pipes here that uh, carries the clean water you as you can see the green pipe is the one that carries the uh, the clean water uh, where I'm showing you so it's connected to that rusty metal pipe and then the gray part uh, this gray pipe is connected to the water um, outlet so yeah so that's how it is connected as you can see the hose goes into that gray pipe and takes out the dirty water And now on to the cleaning of the machine. I have some water in the basin and to it I'll add some baking soda and vinegar and that's the mixture that I'll use to clean the machine. I am going to start with the detergent tray which is really dirty uh, but the good thing is that vinegar is really good at breaking down the dirt so within no time it's going to be all clean and fresh. If you're enjoying this video so far, please remember to give it a thumbs up, hit that like button and if you're just joining us, my name is Agnes and I make videos on cleaning, homemaking and lifestyle. If you like that kind of content, please consider subscribing to this channel. So as I said earlier, this machine has a capacity of 6 kgs which means you can only wash uh, a laundry load that is six kilos or lower otherwise your machine won't work properly and your clothes will not get as clean as they would otherwise get it is also a fully automatic washing machine and something about fully automatic washing machines is that they have to be connected to a water inlet at all times when they are washing so if you live in a place where you're prone to water outage, outage uh, like I am there are days maybe one or two days in a month where we don't have running water on those days I do not do any laundry if I have clothes that I really really have to wash then like my son's um, school uniform i'll hand wash them and then i'll put them in the machine and select the spin only option or spin only setting and what that does it it spins the clothes remove all removes all the excess water and then i get the machine uh, the clothes out when they're half dry then it takes a shorter amount of time for them to air dry 
another thing that i like uh with this machine is that it has a child lock option because as you guys know if you've watched my videos you know i have a toddler who follows me and likes to clean with me so when i'm out here doing laundry she'll come and start uh, rotating the knob and she'll be touching and pressing the buttons on the washing machine so when i put the child lock option then it's okay she can hang out with me as i clean even if she touches the machine nothing will happen it won't interfere with the settings that i've uh, done on the machine the other setting that I normally use on this machine is the delicate setting. I use it to clean shoes, but I have never used it to clean leather shoes. I'm, I'm not sure whether it's safe to, use, to clean leather shoes in a washing machine. I choose the delicate setting because it's mild or rather it doesn't agitate as aggressively as the other cycles. So it's uh, safe for shoes because shoes can get damaged in the washing machine. And actually when I do it, I choose the cold setting. So I choose the the delicate setting on cold water. I am still using vinegar and baking soda to clean inside the machine and also to remove that bad smell. Uh, it's moisture that is normally trapped in the machine that causes bacteria to grow and hence the bad smell. So it is advisable to clean your washing machine at least once a month using baking soda and vinegar to prevent that bad smell. Now here I have the baking soda and vinegar and I'm going to pour the vinegar directly into the drum and I apologize that you could not see me do that because my head was blocking and if you have a preferred scent that you would like your washing machine to have after you have cleaned it this is where you add your essential oils of your choosing so after you've added the vinegar into the drum then you add a few drops of your preferred essential oil and in the tray, I'm adding some baking soda and some water and more vinegar so that I can really deodorize the machine. The essential oil is optional. If you don't have it, it's fine. Vinegar and baking soda do a pretty good job at cleaning and deodorizing the machine on their own. So now I'm going to select the drum clean option and then hit the start button and the machine will start cleaning itself. If you don't have the drum clean option then you can select uh, the setting that has the highest temperature and use that to clean your drum. So now that the machine is running, I can already hear the water going into the machine. I'm going to clean the outer part of the machine. And one more thing about these uh, fully automatic uh, washing machines is that the moment you press the start button, the door locks and you cannot open it. So it's shut until the machine finishes the cycle that you have set. So every time you're using the machine these two lights are normally on to show you that the machine is running and then now I want to put on the child lock so I'll press these two buttons, sim buttons simultaneously for three seconds and then another third light will appear right there to show you that the machine now is on child lock. So now the machine has finished cleaning and as you can see the two lights that were on are now blinking to show that the machine is done. Now I'll turn off the machine and once I do that the lights will also uh, go off and now I can be able to open the door and uh, the door has a bit uh, of moisture because the machine was using hot water so I'll wipe that out and also I'll wipe the gasket because there's some water trapped every time you use the machine whether you're cleaning the 
machine itself or you're cleaning you're doing a load of laundry there will there will be some water trapped in this part that i'm wiping right now so it's always advisable this is a tip to keep your machine always um to keep away that bad smell from the machine you should wipe that part every time you're done doing a load of laundry and you should also wipe the door and then you leave the door ajar just like this uh, to let the drum air dry and then also the tray uh, also has some water every time you're done uh, doing laundry there will be some water remaining there in the tray so wipe it out and also leave the tray open to let it air dry this will really help to reduce uh, that false smell so now that I'm done cleaning the machine, I'm going to go ahead and do my daily load of laundry. I am cleaning uh, just one load today and then I'll be done with the washing machine. So this is how you load the machine and you always make sure that you do not overload your machine because if you do, it won't work properly. When it comes to spinning, it might even shake the machine. You might feel or you might see your machine shaking and making very loud noises because it's overloaded and it's not working properly so always make sure you leave a little bit of space uh, in the drum don't overfill it and then for this machine which is a 6 kg washing machine uh, the preferred or the recommended amount of soap to use is 150 grams of powder soap or 125 ml of liquid soap so because i'm using powder soap today i have measured 150 grams of of parcel powder soap. I did not put any detergent on the third compartment because I will not be pre-washing the clothes. I'm doing a daily wash of 45 minutes which is basically a quick wash and this machine does not allow to do pre-washing on those uh, quick wash uh, settings. And that's it for this video guys. I hope that you have enjoyed. If you have, remember to give this video a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button if you haven't and I'll see you in my next one. Bye bye.